every problem similarly whatever is given in the formula same thing write down here as per garden's model we get retention also what is retention these are called as retentions there is no further calculation only one formula one formula you are supposed to remember A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session four of your topic called financial management, and we are discussing dividend decision. Today we are discussing Garden's model. What is Garden's model, and how do we calculate those calculations? We'll go for that. I'll go for the next slide. Your concept and problem both will discuss in today's session, and the following details are available in respect of the firm with a rate of return twelve percent, and the earning per share is rupees twenty using Garden's model. Determine the value of share using following assumptions. Now. Dividend payout ratio, retention ratio, cost of equity. These are the informations we have now. In this, the major one retention ratio will be added to this. What is retention ratio now? Dividend payout, retention, and cost of equity. As per this. Your dividend payout ratio: ten percent, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. As per Garden's model, we get retention also. What is retention? These are called as retentions. Now, along with that, we have cost of equity. All this. So, what is the value of equity? Twenty. What is the rate of return? It is twelve percent. Again, I'll come back to this. A rate of return twelve percent, and your earning is twenty. Then, after this, cost of equity it is given. Then your retention we call it as B. What is your retention B? So we have ninety percent, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, and thirty. What is retention actually? C. You have out of hundred percent, ten percent. You have provided dividend. What is the balance? Ninety percent. Out of hundred, twenty percent. You have given dividend. Balance is eighty. Thirty, seventy. Minus hundred, you will get your retention balance. So these are your formula. P P stands for it is the price of the share. E one minus B whole divided by cost of equity minus. B into R. Remember, this must be in bracket. Where P is equal to price of the share, earning per ratio, retention ratio, ratio of return, or rate of return, and the last one, cost of equity. Hope you are clear. Yes. So these are the informations we have in this. How to find out? I'll show you. These are your question. Yes. What are the dividend payout ratio? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. We'll take only four. Later we'll come for these three. I don't have space here. That's why up to forty I have done. What you're supposed to do after forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Clear? See, up to forty I have done. Fifty, sixty, seventy. Here I have done. You can do continuation. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. In a single row, you can do all seven calculations. Now, as per this, first come to what? Ten percent. What is the retention? Ninety percent. What is the cost? Twenty. Your formula is what? E one minus B. E one minus B. Whole divided by cost of equity minus C cost of equity minus B into R. This is your formula. Now your formula is done. Now what is the equity here? Twenty. 
and there is one minus b. What is b? B stands for your retention. B is 90%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, B 90%. What is cost of equity? 20%. We can call it as 0 0.20. 0 0.90 into, again, what is this? R. R is equal to 0 0.12. Hope you are clear. Now, your R is equal to 0 0.12. And as per this, your earning is equal to 20. And as per this, your B is equal to 0 0.90. As per this, cost of equity is equal to how much it is? Cost of equity, it comes around 0 0.20. So these are the informations are available. Every problem similarly, whatever is given in the formula, same thing write down here. 1 minus 0 0.90, you will get 0 0.10 into 20, you will get 2 rupee. Calculate this, multiply and minus, you will get 0 0.092. Your final answer 21.74. Similarly, because earning will remain as it is, 1 as it is, B will change for 20%. B will change for 20. How? See, for 20%, B is how much? 80%, 0 0.80. Yeah, 0 0.80 into 0 0.12. Multiply, you will get 4 rupee. You will get this minus this you will get 0 0.094, final answer 42.55. Similarly, do this calculation, then you will get 6 rupee, divide by this, the final answer 62.5. I am not uh, explaining the concept, why? Because you already know this. Again, same procedure, final answer. Eighty-one point six three percent. Now we're done with up to forty percent. Go back to fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent. Apply the formula. As per the formula, you have done calculation. Answer is hundred. Answer is double one seven point six five. One thirty four point six one. You can go one by one, like table you can do, or else without table also you can calculate. Now, so once we done with this one, your previous problem we completed. I'll show it once again. This is your question. So these are the formula you have to remember. Your solution part, again, your solution part continuation. Your problem number one. Now, we'll go to next problem now. As per this, what happens? Your rate of return, last problem it was only 1, rate of return was 12%. But in this, we have 12%, we have 11% and we have 20%. Total we have 3. And this is for N and this is for G. Yes, G, N. So we have to do it for S also, we have to do it for N also and we have to do it for G also. Now, calculate the effect of dividend payout ratio using Gordon's model. If the dividend payout ratio is 10, 30, 1 minus B, and so it will be 90%, 50%, and 70%. We have to do it for 90, 50, 70 in the sense 10, 30, as well as your last one, it will be, yes, 10, 50, and 70. 10 and 30%. Now we are doing one by one. This is your formula. This is the same copy paste of your formula. Your earning is 20. 1 minus B is 0 0.90. Cost of equity 11. B into R. B is what? Same thing. R it is equal to 12%. We are doing all calculation for 12%. First one. So if you simplify, you will get 2 divided by 0 0.11 minus 0 
Then you will get this one. Then your final answer, this. Hope you got this, how to do. Step number one, step number two, three, four, five. So next we'll go for 30%. In case of 30%, we have done for 10%. Next is 30, next is 50. Now, this will be remain same, only your 90 will become 70. 100 minus 30, how much? 70. So this will be your answer. Calculate, simplify, again simplify, your final answer will be 230.77. Now, first one is done, second one is over, next we'll go for third one. 50% rate of return, just apply the formula, 50% means it will become what? 100 minus 50, it will be what? Your 0 0.50, 100 also we call it as 0. Point. 100 also we call it as 1, 1 minus 0. 0.50. After this calculation, simplify, again simplify, your final answer you got 200. Similarly, 70% rate of return, your calculation, second calculation, third calculation and your final answer. Hope you are clear. So we have done for all four. We have done for 10%, 30, 50 and 70. Similarly, what is your answer? For 10%, 1000. Where you got this? See, your first answer 1000, second answer 230, third answer 200, fourth answer 189. 1000, 230, 200 and 189. Next, we'll go for the second person n. How to calculate same procedure? We have to calculate for 10, we have to calculate for 30, we have to calculate for 50, and the last one, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4. Total calculations are 4. Now, 10% rate of return, calculate this formula. Second procedure, third procedure, and your final answer is 181.8. Similarly, first procedure, second procedure, third procedure, and your final answer 181.82. Now, 10% over, 30% over, now come for 50%. Your answer second answer, third answer and your final calculation. I am not explaining in detail why because you know that if you know the formula, replace, calculate step by step and write the final answer. Under dividend decision, it is the easiest one. Why? Because there is no further calculation, only one formula, one formula you are supposed to remember. Now, 70% rate of return, one formula, second formula, third formula and final answer. This one, your first, second, third, fourth and final answer. Similarly, last, we are doing G now, 10% over, 30% final answer, triple one point double one. While doing problem, remember, there is a first step, second step, third step, and fourth step. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. Like this we are supposed to do. Once you're done with this, all your final answers, you have to make it in a table. From N, these are the answer. From G, these are the answer. This much only you are supposed to do. Now I'll go back to all these slides. This one you will understand better only if you work out this problem. Now, this will be your question. This is the answer, part one. 
answer part two, answer part three, answer, 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 yes, final answer. So please work out, there are two problems are there, easiest one, at home without fail, work out at your home. Thank you.